speaking of, uh, Boogie um, got Liar ostensibly tattooed on his face. And what he did before this, as part of the, the final the arc, uh, Keemstar banned him, fired him from the Lol Cow podcast, bought 25% of his shares back, and then said, Boogie, you can get your your stuff back. We'll let you back onto the podcast, but only if you get liar tattooed on your face. And sure enough, he did. Shaved his beard, though. And you can kind of see it's in an interesting spot. I think a lot of people thought they were going to get like a Joker broken tattoo on his forehead. But he got Liar put in this very interesting specific spot. Um, which, if it is real, even though it's kind of weird because I'm not like a tattoo guy. But usually they put like a petroleum jelly on it to stop it from getting infected. And they usually put like a cellophane tape on top. Um, so it glistens and it has like a wrap to it when they're done. Uh, that didn't happen with Boogie. Um and if it is real, it's in the spot that his hair grows. So he's just going to grow his beard back out like he usually has it. And it's just not going to show up because it's like right there. Um, and apparently when this was happening, um, Boogie was giddy. He was elated. He was like a giggling little schoolgirl. And the, the parlor, oh, tee, tee, I'm going to get liar. I'm such a bad boy. I'm so bad and I'm being punished for all the bad things that I've done. I'm going to get liar tattooed on my face. How many people? 20,000? Ooh, I'm going to get liar tattooed. I'm so, so irredeemable. I'm such a piece of shit. Everyone thought that I was in the midst of Rogers, but I'm not. I'm a liar. That's why I'm getting liar tattooed on my face. Tee hee. So he shows up at the parlor and he gets liar tattooed on his face. And finally, I'm given, given my accolades. I 100% agree with Null's decision to not feature the boogie in their shit tier drama. After this show, I'm done watching the WWE plotline has been milk dry. Thousands of years, thousands of years of internet drama have allowed Kiwis to sniff out frauds with incredible efficiency. If Keem had really wanted to clean his hands and punish a man for faking cancer, he'd just kick him off the show and replace him with literally anyone else. So while this is going on, Keemstar was, like, getting all these random nobodies onto the show to be like, oh, my God, the tattoo, wow, this is, like, historic internet drama because Boogie's epically owned and his career, his, rep, his history is now tarnished because of all the things that he has said and done over the, the Fat Retard podcast in the last 72 hours, wow. And it was just like that over and over again. Um, there was one, one funny part where Wingo... The hero of the night said something that made Keemstar visibly uncomfortable. I think you need a tattoo. Wings, let him know. What tattoo should Chris Tyson get? Oh. Ooh. I would say on this side of the jawline, you put C I S, and on this side, you put M A L E. And what does that spell out? Cis male. Like you can hear that, that caution. No. No, Wings, what does that spell out? What is? Are you being transphobic on the Fat Retard podcast? Sir, on this podcast, we make fun of sex abuse victims, and we make fun of cancer patients. We don't make fun of heckin' wholesome transgender folks. That, that means he'd be a straight male. Dude, come on. No, come on. Oh. No, come on, come on, Wings. Don't joke about that, Wings. Don't do Listen, Ling, this is a safe, edgy podcast. This is a safe, edgy podcast. We don't make fun of transgender folks on the Fat Retard podcast. Don't do that, Wings. Why? Because they want, they, they want to be transgender, right? Oh. Everyone's so visibly... Even Boogie's like, bro, come on. Come on, bro. I'm getting liar tattooed on my face here. Can we not make this awkward? Can we not make this awkward with you in your transphobia? Even Wings is like defensive. Like, I thought it was a good joke. <laughs> it was Wings. Don't worry. You know, you can come on my Fat Retard Podcast. <laughs> Wings for second chair. We're going to make our own. It's going to be funny, okay? <laughs> we'll make fun of trannies together, me and Wingo. <laughs> um, That's about it, I think. Oh, yeah, the finally, to cap this off. So, Keemstar is, like, riding, like, a high of, like, popularity. And, coincidentally... Uh, Chris Tyson, who he doesn't like because Chris Tyson was friends with Shadman, who Keemstar hates. And to be fair, 
and this will be the only credit I ever fucking give this guy. His righteous indignation at wanting to destroy Shadman and everybody who has ever helped that guy make his fucking name is totally pure and righteous and dignified and completely and totally justifiable. And there is no way you could ever try to say he's going too far. He could go out with a fucking hatchet and hack these people up into bits and it would all be completely above board justifiable homicide, not guilty. You're going to have to kick me out the fucking jury. I'm not giving this guy a guilty verdict. That's that's my opinion of that. Then, riding this high of absolute, like, unassailable W, he decides to threaten Dark Side Phil because Dark Side Phil looks at this shit and says, uh, this is fucking fake. Are you guys retarded? This shit's scripted. And he's right. There's parts where he knew about scripts and stuff because he was almost invited. So Keemstar goes out on the Fat Retard Live Twitter account and says, We are considering filing a lawsuit against Dark Side Phil for his claims that Fat Retard Live is scripted and staged. These are false, slanderous statements meant to damage the show. It's okay to think it's scripted. Everyone has a right to an opinion. But when you publicly state the show is 100% scripted as DSP has, that's defamation 101. So he's in this position of, like, incredible success. Just, just fucking roped in Medicare, hundreds, like tens of thousands of viewers watching this live, hundreds of thousands of people talking about it, destroy, you know, basically cashed in Boogie's entire career in the most profitable way fucking imaginable. And then everyone's on his side when it comes to Shadman. Sure, let's round up all the people that made Shadman and put them into a camp. I'm good for it, except for the lollicons. And then what does he do? Um, yeah, I'm gonna become vexatious. I'm gonna become a litigant, and I'm gonna uh, threaten dark side Phil for ru- for saying that the obviously scripted shit is scripted. Like, really, you're gonna fuck up that? No, it's just like you can't, you can't get the Keemstar is the perfect example of like when you make an argument against censors. Like, would you trust this guy to be the censor? Would you trust this guy to make decisions about what you can and can't say and what you can and can't read? Like, no, obviously not. Keemstar is like a megalomaniac. Um, just just a fucking retard. I can't believe... I Honestly, this like is so indignant to me. <laughs> and you could say, and someone did, because like, I did feature this. I featured, I didn't feature any of the boogie stuff, but I did feature um, him threatening Dark Side Phil. And someone said, well, aren't you just giving him what he wants? And I'm like, yeah, he could be doing this just to get attention. Um, but it's also very clear that even if he is doing this for attention, he's number one, trying to intimidate somebody into silence. And number two, he's trying to get back at Dark Side Phil for not joining the Fat Retard podcast. If you don't remember, Dark Side Phil was invited to be chair three. So it was supposed to be Boogie Wings and, and DSP as the Fat Retards. And he's like, no, I'm not your fucking clown. I, I do my stream. I don't consider, you know, the the lolcal stuff funny. I don't consider myself a lolcal. I don't want to fucking dance for your amusement. I don't want to be some gnome slave gimp boy on his fucking podcast getting made fun of for peanuts. Fuck you, Keemstar. I'm not doing it. Which was basically the most giga chat answer possible. Well, Keemstar doesn't like that. You're not going to tell me no boy. I want to fucking sue you. You're going to say you're going to take shots at me. You better shut your fucking mouth, Dark Side Phil. I got millions of dollars from YouTube from my direct my lucrative contracts and deals with YouTube corporate. I can sue you, bitch. You want to say no to me and then make fun of me? Fuck you. It's the gnome. That's why we don't like the gnome, chat. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.